Now for the top story tonight, reaction joining us from Phoenix. Dr. Zudi Jasser, president of the American Islamic Forum for Democracy. And from Washington, Kamal Nawash, president of Free Muslims Coalition. So Mr. Nawash, how do you explain this poll? Shouldn't Muslims like President Obama? Well, I guess from President Obama's point of view, they should. But from many Muslims' point of view, uh, you know, you have to look at when they, many of those who supported Obama in the, in the beginning, they had a certain irrational exuberance as to what he was going to do. They tended to define hope in a way that fits their paradigm, a, a way that fits their, their world initially. And among the things that they were looking at, at least those who supported him in the beginning, are the issues that are important to them. They were hoping he would do certain things differently. At like least what? Give me an example of how like the President Palestinian, Obama... All right. Give me an example. For example, they were hoping he would be different on the Palestinian-Israeli conflict. For this issue, for, the, for many Muslims and Arabs, is the single most important issue in, in all of farm so policy. So he hasn't and advanced that down the lane and no. they're disappointed. Anything else? Yeah, and then they were hoping, for example, that the, one of the complaints a lot of Muslims and Arabs have, of course, that uh, you know that the U.S. doesn't really respect their sovereignty, always meddles into their business, and they felt that that would change when he came, and they don't feel it, you know he really has any more respect for their sovereignty. So uh, before. By, by going into Pakistan and getting Bin Laden and dropping drones on Al Qaeda all over the Muslim world, the Muslims are mad at us for doing that. We can't protect. Well, ourselves. not necessarily, not necessarily uh, killing uh, Bin Laden, but you know. Certainly, uh, you know, the fact that they would go and bomb uh, various targets in Pakistan without asking the Pakistanis. Without asking Pakistanis. them. But see, if we ask yeah. them, they tip off the terrorists and the terrorists leave. See, that's what happened. Well, you're asking me why, no, why I, they well, would that, like him. You're I mean, absolutely, I'm, Mr. Nawash, that's an excellent point. I deserve yeah, to be scolded uh, by you. But I, I get no, a little frustrated because it's insane. Now, doctor, why do you think the Muslim world doesn't like President Obama? Well, I'll tell, you, I'll tell you, Bill, I think it's a much more fundamental problem in that we have to make up for decades, if not generations, of media propaganda where you have the Muslim population driven by two different fascism, secular fascism that they've associated with us because we've coddled some dictators, because we've sort of picked the <laughs> devil that we know, and even now we've come lately to the uprising, so we've lost some credibility there. And the other fascism, which is theopolitical fascism of Islamism and political Islam, which wants to paint the West and secular societies as against their faith, as against Islam. So really liberty, the look, concepts look, look, of freedom. Here, here's what I don't yeah. get. Here's what I don't get, Doctor. Two years ago, they weren't great ap approval ratings for Obama, but they were much better than they are now. And, and, and the president has gone to Cairo, and he's coddled the Muslim. The president of the United States is coddling, coddling yep. the Muslim world. Oh, don't get mad at us. Oh, oh, we have to do it. He's doing it. He's dropping the drones. He got Bin Laden, keeping Guantanamo open. He has to. He has to protect and the American people. But then he doesn't like to do it. He doesn't want to do it. But the Muslims still turn on him. And I'll tell you, there's many Muslim families like mine and the Syrians and, and others that are looking for leadership from the leader of the free world to do, just like Reagan did when President Reagan called the Soviet Union the evil empire. It is time for a president and administration that can call evil ideology evil, whether it's secular fascism or, or that well, of that the Brotherhood and Islamism. They need be down to call nothing it evil. If he, if he took my point of view on it. Mr. Nawash, well, I'm, in, I'm interested in this. We're, Look, you, you guys are both American citizens. I'm sure you're loyal to your country here. And, and I'm sure you're very disturbed, as I am, about the Muslim problem in the world. But I don't see a way to get through it. I don't see a, Look, if Pakistan is going to protect the Taliban, there's a fine article in Newsweek this week that lays that out. They're protecting the Taliban. Protect bin Laden. We know they did that. And if Saudi Arabia, our, our, supposedly our big partner, is going to fund all this Wahhabist school business so the little kids learn how to hate Jews and Americans and, and all of that, it's never going to get better. It's never going to get better, Mr. Nawash. You know, I, I, don't, I don't think so. I don't think there's a fundamental problem between Muslims and the United States oh, because of the on. religion. I really come don't see on. it. I think, I think it's, you know, mostly political in nature. I mean, you know, it, you know most people, even if you look at, a, at, a, at an insane person like bin Laden, when he goes out and speaks, most of the stuff he talks about is not religion. He talks about political issues. Then you why, know, he may why be was insane, Pakistan he may be protecting criminal. the guy then? Why was Pakistan, against more than $2 billion a year in aid from us, protecting this nut? 
if what but you say is know, true. Look, uh, you know, certainly if they are, that's a problem. But we don't really know certainly that they are. They we are. also know, we also know that if Pakistanis have lost about 32,000 soldiers fighting on the side of the U.S. So you can't really say but listen, they're protecting. Right. Go ahead, doctor. Wrap it up. But for come us. on. It is time. It is time for us to have an offense. That's really where the president's speech was lacking. We have no offense of ideology into Muslim societies to say, you know what? There are Muslims that want liberty, that want constitutions within establishment clause, that don't want theocracies, that don't want well, I would uh, agree a secular with that. I would fascism. Agree. And this I would needs, agree with but that. here's so this a problem, needs to happen. I would and agree. I that's what. That's Gentlemen, what's here's the problem, and I got to run. For every Muslim in the world that wants democracy and wants human rights, there's one who doesn't. And the one who doesn't doesn't have any rules. It'll blow the hell out of the one that does. So that silences. Well, the good Muslims well, who see the danger from the Muslim world. I got to run, gentlemen. Well, there's a good debate. Yep. I got to run. Things are a good changing. Debate.